it's had a, a, a devastating effect. It really has. People have been crying for no reasons, and uh, it's just hard because these were two special young ladies. People in Pickens came together tonight to remember Claudette and Rebecca Purry, who police say were killed last week. And tonight, more than 100 people gathered at Griffin Ebenezer Baptist Church. That's in Pickens, where both women were members. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell was there, and she has more on how the community is coping. The children of 28-year-old Rebecca Purry will be growing up without her. She was found dead Saturday. Also found dead was a man police say was her ex-boyfriend. Investigators say he kidnapped her days earlier. Dolores Robinson, her kid's paternal grandmother, is now taking care of her two oldest. It hurts. You know, I hurt for my grandsons. I, I wake up in the morning thinking it'd be a dream. Then I look on the news, I see a reoccurrence of what happened. On the day Rebecca was kidnapped, police say her captor shot her aunt Claudette Purry, who later died at the hospital. She was such a sweet person, she never bothered anybody. The loss of both women has shocked people in Pickens County. In response, a vigil was held Monday to pray for hurting, healing, and unity. Some people wore purple and brought purple balloons today to raise awareness for domestic violence. It was just necessary that we come together to try to have the hurt and the healing process to take place because of the tragedy. But today we just want to remember. With hymns and prayer, the community lit candles in remembrance of Rebecca and Claudette and pledged to be there for each other in this time of need. I feel like some relief, you know, now because everybody was so sad here in this town. It, they, we didn't know how to deal with this. It was just, it, it felt so good to everybody, for everybody coming together, showing that support about what we was going through. In Pickens and Maxwell, Southern News. If you are struggling with domestic violence, you can call an Upstate Domestic Violence hotline. That number tonight is 1-800-291-2139.